For this problem, a rain gutter is going to be constructed from a 30 centimeter sheet by bending up a third on each side at an angle of theta. So this is the same as maximizing the area of a cross section diagram that we have to the right. If we let B be the base of the shape of the cross section, so at the top here we have B, which is unknown, and we let H be the height of this shape. So we have the height. And we set up some restrictions for these variables. So for B, it would be greater than 0 and less than 30 when it's almost straight. H would be greater than 0 and less than or equal to 10 when theta is 90 degrees. And theta would be greater than 0 or less than 2 pi over 3 when the sides almost touch at the middle to create an equilateral triangle. Now the area of this is the same as the area of a trapezoid. So we have the area of a trapezoid formula. And if we plug in our known B value, then we have this. And we want to make it so that we only have one variable. So our constraint for that is going to be the right angle triangle that is created by the sides of H, 10, and we have an angle of theta. And at the bottom, let's just call it X. So our trig ratios cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse or x over 10. Sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse or h over 10. If we rewrite these as x equals 10 cos theta or h equals 10 sine theta. And b can be written as a sum of 10, which is this bottom part right here, 10, plus 2x or the values of this two small pieces and that is equal to 10 plus 2y cos theta. If we plug in these values to the area formula we have, we get 1 over 2, 10 plus 10 plus 20 cos theta for b and then 10 sine theta for h. Simplified, this is 5 sine theta times 20 plus 20 cos theta. And if we distribute the sine and factor out the 20, we get 100 times sine theta plus sine theta cos theta. And that's our formula. And since we're looking for a maximum, we want to find where the first derivative is equal to 0. So the first derivative is equal to 100 times derivative of sine is cos. And then we have a product rule, sine theta, derivative of cos plus the derivative of sine times cos theta equal to 100 times cos theta plus cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. And using our trig identities, we can rewrite this as cos theta plus cos squared theta, and then rewrite sine squared theta as 1 minus cos squared theta. And this is rewritten as 100 times 2 cos squared theta plus cos theta minus 1. And if we factor this out, this is 100 times 2 cos theta minus 1 times cos theta plus 1. And since we're looking for where the first derivative is equal to 0, I want to check for when 2 cos theta minus 1 is equal to 0, or cos theta is equal to 1 over 2, and that happens when theta is equal to pi over 3. And this is for the interval of theta is greater than 0 and less than 2 pi over 3, which is our restriction. And for the parentheses that has cos theta plus 1, if we equate that to 0, then cos theta is equal to negative 1. But if we look at the cos graph here, we can see that for the interval or our restriction of 0 to 2 pi over 3. Cos pi is equal to negative 1 does not exist within this interval. So we can say that our value of theta is pi over 3. Now to check if it's a max, we want to find the second derivative. And if we just take that first derivative and rewrite it using the double angle identity, and we have second derivative is equal to 100 times derivative of cos is negative sine, derivative of cos 2 theta is negative sine 2 theta times 2 because of chain rule. 
that's equal to negative 100 times sine theta plus 2 sine 2 theta. Now, the negative 100 is always going to be negative. And if we evaluate sine theta or sine of pi over 3, this is root 3 over 2. So this second part is going to be positive. So that means this is going to be less than 0. It's concave down, and you have a max. So therefore, we can conclude that the rain gutter holds the maximum amount of water when the bend angle is theta equals pi over 3 or 60 degrees.